and welcome my name is Prue or Prue Lurie and today we're going to be doing two looks and a review with the uh, Kaleidos Electro Turquoise palette. I actually did have this filmed previously and I deleted the footage. I mentioned it in my recent chatty get ready with me wherein the lovely Annette informed me that to enjoy this palette in its full form I should use glitter glue. I'll link her video using these palettes down below as well if you're interested in checking them out. Anyway let's get into look one. Alright, welcome to look number one with the Kaleidos Futurism Electro Turquoise Palette. I'm going to actually give it a try with the Rimmel Magnify Eyes Primer. This is a really gripping primer for your eyes. If you're curious what's on my eyes, it's all linked, like what's on my face, it's all linked down below. My lips were giving me like such a hard time today. I gave up. I don't know. I'm just going to blend it through. And then let's get franken. I've got, I'm going to go in with, I think is it Digiteal, which is this color here, this blue. And I'm going to do my old school triangle. And I'm sorry if like, I don't know, I can't be bothered putting the lights on. Um, I was just like, I'm just going to do my makeup. And then go out or like finish cleaning up. I'm still finishing packing after Bali because I take forever to unpack. Like my favorite thing to do at a hotel is to unpack, but then when I get home, I'm like, nah, I'm just going to leave everything where it is. And it annoys my boyfriend so much, but I'm washing all of our sheets at the moment because I didn't realize that he was just putting all the sheets in the laundry and not washing them. So there was actually like a whole basket full of sheets. It's like three sets of sheets that were waiting to be washed. And then... I let someone stay over and they slept in the bed that is behind me while we were gone because they were house sitting. So I've got to wash those sheets next and it doesn't look as perfect as it did before. Like the sheets. So I'm going to wash them but I think I'm just going to put the same sheets back on because they are like my favourite sheets. I was looking at my other sheets that I could put on and I was like nah. I just, I love the, <laughs> I love the sheets that are on. This is actually, I just bought this as the e.l.f. smudge brush. That one's did a pretty good job. I just like accidentally got a little bit too much. There. Now something to blend it through. I'm going to use my Ella brush and I'm going to use... I think it's Force Field. This shit here. And just put this in my crease. So I think I'm on like my fourth or fifth wash of laundry too. So sorry if you can hear that going. Um, oh, I don't know. So I'm just getting everything organized, which is nice. I always think I'm gonna be more productive than I am. Uh, I should just accept that I probably am not. Alright, yeah. Let's just put the shimmers on. Let's try it without the glitter glue, because I can go over it. I'm gonna go in with Tron. It's our blue here. And yeah, the. This is why I don't like them, they're just so sheer. I like there's no backing pigment, which isn't what I expect. So let's pull in a glitter primer. I'm going to use my NYX glitter primer. I'm just going to put it on my finger because I can't be bothered figuring out which brush to grab. I don't want that. Oh no. I really don't want this primer on my lashes. Once it's on your lashes, it does not move and it's so hard to clear off so now that we've got it down on that side let's just put this down oh okay yeah i see it damn all right thank you annette from annette's makeup corner you're amazing okay i'm obsessed now but this is actually like one of the few formulas that i have felt needed this um but shit Love it. Oh my god. Sensational. Amazing. Alright. I love it now. And then I'm going to go into Shockwave with that glitter primer. <laughs> because, I don't know, I made a mess of it putting it. Cat hair. They're like everywhere. Um, on this eye before. So I'm just going to dab it in. 
and I will do another look using shockwave on my lid. Oh, I forgot. Let's put digital just underneath my eye. Mm -hmm. For my actual eye, let's use my Manhattan. Who is this by? Oh, Manhattan Gel Liner in. That one's blue. Aqua Sparkle. Bought this when I was overseas. Alright, it's not very good. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I did like do a little swatchy swatch. And like the pigment's there, there, but it's not going to my eye well today. And like I just like it to be easy. So we use my ColourPop gel liner in Zulu. My Plenty Flower Liner. Alright, I'm just gonna give up here. This one's like a bit crazy, this one's a bit wonky. It's fine, I don't really mind. That's where we're at at the minute. I'm going go with my Lancome Hypnose. I don't know where Bad Girl Bang is at the minute. It's like in front of me somewhere, I know. So I used it yesterday. And then my fave, the Skinny Mini from Astralis on the lower lashes. And then I'm just going to go back in with my Ella blending brush. I'm just going to blend this like a little bit more together. If I can. I just don't want that harsh line that's there. Yeah, that kind of worked. I want it to look like it seamlessly blended into each other. I'm just going to bring a little bit more of force field, which is that light, that blue, down here. Voila. Alright, that's where we're at now with the glitter primer. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Well, I'm excited that it was just like um, an easy fix like that to enjoy this palette. Cool. <clears throat> Hello. Yes, exact same day, same products on my face. And um, I just like cleaned off my eye makeup a little bit and I'm coming back. So we are going in with the second and final look for the Kaleidos Futurism. I just can't see myself doing three looks with this palette. And um... I'm going to see the Chemical Brothers tonight. They're not like my fave pant. Um, I don't even know like so many people we've told we're gonna go see Chemical Brothers are like, who? If you are like, I don't know, like if you're a similar age to me, remember you would likely remember the Salmon Dance, which was a classic. But I don't think they're playing that tonight. And my partner did actually buy me the CD because yes, I. I still use CDs and I actually don't like the new album but he does and it's actually super exciting because it's gonna be like his first sort of concert ever which he hates me telling people so don't tell him I told you no but like I mean I just I don't really see a problem with it because I get why and realistically I don't go to concerts that much myself personally uh, when just because they are so expensive, like even the tickets for tonight were at hundred and thirty dollars each, and like it's just like it's a bit painful getting in, and I don't know. Like there's just so many more things you have to worry about when you're going to a concert. Like it's it, it's a night out is my main problem. Well, the main thing I'll say. So going on my Morphe M149, I'm going to put. Is it wide? Which is that brown? And I'm gonna put this on my uh, like outer corner crease. Like concerts are expensive, and if you don't have people around you who have similar makeup tastes as you, it's hard to find people to go to concerts with. Like the very first concert I ever went to, I actually went by myself because I went to see Tenacious D. Oh, actually no, like I like I went to if you're Australian, you would remember, and you're thirty. <laughs> But the Coke Live concerts, I used to go to them all the time. And who was it that was like always there? Was it Lincoln Park? No. Oh, I don't remember. Anyway, I used to go to the Coke Live concerts as a kid, but like not much beyond that. And like the first concert I ever went to that I was like super excited about was Tenacious D, and I couldn't find anyone else to go with, so I went by myself. 
but I am aware that I am an anomaly. Lynn, yes, my parents picked me up and dropped me off because I was like 18 at the time. I am very much an anomaly in the fact that I'm confident enough to do something like that and go to a concert by myself. I don't know if I would have that same confidence today. I definitely was a lot more fearless as a youngin. And I'm sorry if you just want to see the eyeshadow and I'm talking shit, but oh well. So, I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of. Concerts are like a bit painful to sort of prioritise and if you don't have people around you that also prioritise them or are interested in the same music, it's tough. And he definitely, like his favourite kind of music, I, I hate it, I can't, I can't stand it for the life of me, but he loves Synthwave. So I'm going to go on with Digital. And Synthwave is like another version of Electronica, but it's like, I don't know, it's apparently Daft, no, who is it? I think Daft Punk are a little bit like it, but they, um, oh, he asked me if I knew them the other day. Tame Impala. And I don't mind Tame Impala as a, as one, but apparently they are a synthwave band, which I didn't really realise. And I don't mind synthwave, I just, I really, I really, really hate it when there's no words. Because to me, music is like about a story and like I love just listening to someone with an amazing voice sing. I'm going to try and just like blend this a little bit more. I don't know what I'm going to do about it for that yet. So I actually hate Synthwave and I wanted him to go to a concert, you know, just to like experience it at least. And I saw the Chemical Brothers were going. Well, I saw that the Chemical Brothers were touring in Australia, so I thought that was a good time to go. And, like, check a band out. And I remember listening to them a lot when I was younger. Though I'd forgotten about that thing where bands change their music. <laughs> so I'll be very excited if I get to hear Sam and Dance tonight, but I don't expect it. And apparently they do an amazing light show. And an amazing light show, so I'm pretty excited to see that. I think it will be fun either way. That was my, one of my Colourpop blending brushes, and then I'm going to go back into another Morphe M149. I have multiples of this, and I'm going to put Force Field, which is that beautiful light blue. I'm going to put this all in my inner corner and bring it down and around. So I'm excited for him for his big moment of going to a concert, and I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of. I think there's probably plenty of people out there who've never been to a concert before. And I do love live music, but it's a rare band that will make me want to go and go through like going out and paying like a huge portion. I think the last live concert I saw was Dylan Joel, because Australian hip hop is like my, my jam. And since then, yeah, I haven't, I know, I've, I've missed a few just because I've been like at work, like the ones I've wanted to see. Then I'm going to go in with the Vol Voltaic, the orange. And I'm going to bring this like all the way around up here. So I've missed a few brands that I've been wanting to see just because I've been, well, what's the best way to say? Like I've been at work or I haven't felt like it and it is hard to like wrangle other people who to see something like that. Like, not everyone has the same music taste. As evidenced by the fact that I can't stand my partner's music taste. I just don't like the way this, like, the outer shade blended in, but I'm kind of, like, enjoying it with the orange outer rim. So I'm just going to build that up. And it actually is, like, Halloween tonight. They released, like, in the email, they were saying, like, you can be dressed up and stuff. Which, but your face still had to be recognisable to buy alcohol. I don't know. Which, like, Halloween is such, like, a weird thing to me because it's just, like, not a thing here. I feel like it's a thing online and in the stores. So, like, people will do it at home for their own entertainment. But as, like, a thing thing, 
I don't know. I never see it. Should I just bring... Yeah, I feel like I'm just going to bring Botech underneath the eye as well. Mainly because I wanted to see it more as a shade. So let me know, like, what the last concert you went and saw was. Or, like, if you've never been to a concert either. Um, make my partner feel less alone. Or if you know someone who's never been to a concert, I think he would appreciate that sentiment. So I'm going to chuck the glitter glue on now and then I'm going to put I think I'll just put shockwave the white all over my lid just so I can see what that looks like as well and oh my god I'm getting punished for peeing away you um it's like well I don't I'm never a fan of having people stay here when I'm not here and um since we've been back, we have been infested with ants, so I do not know what's happened. And because my makeup area has been inactive, I think, um, there are just like ants everywhere. I feel like every time I look, I can see someone like climbing over something and like I just I really hate ants. So I've been fighting with ants today. So shockwave, which is um, and thank you so much to everyone for being so lovely about my turn video. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's really, it's strange how you can feel guilty for not uploading and stuff like that. But you are all so lovely. And... I mean, I've got to remember, like, you guys, I mean... You guys are my friends and I'm one of those people who because I've moved so much in my life I can pick up friendships that go back a couple years that I haven't seen the person in a while and it's like I saw them yesterday. Ben Jeff blah blah blah. How are you looking? Crazy enough for Chemical Brothers. So I gotta remember that you guys are sort of like that and if you ever miss me you can always watch my old videos. But just know I'm always thinking about ya. And like my DMs on Instagram are always open. I'm usually better at replying there most of the time. I feel like I really like this one and then this one. Mm -mm. Alright, but you know there is something I've been wanting to try for a while. And looking at it, I think this could be the look to do it with. So I'm going to mix up my Inglot, uh, what is it, AMC Pure Pigment Shadow 120. It's like a stunning duochrome. Can you see it? But I thought this would be cool to mix with some Duraline and do up some liner. Oh my god. I have to show you, but I just mixed it with some Duraline on the back of this box. And it's like turned into this beautiful, glumpy duochrome. Oh, okay, let's see if I can show you like some of the magics, but see how it's like powdery. And it just dissolves. I just realized that brush is probably like a little bit too big for what I want to do. So I'm going to go on with a smaller paintbrush. And these are just paintbrushes because like, why do you need a bigger one? So I'm going to try and paint over the black liner. It just doesn't look like it's good. Let's see if I can maneuver it out. Nope. Just making it worse. A little bit of finger action. And then let's go back into the OG shade Shockwave, which is the white. I'm just trying to overpower it a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, so this is where we're at now. It's a pretty fun look. Should we like pop the orange a bit more? I think so. Let's put Poppy on from Colourpop. I think I want something just like a little bit snazzy on the inner corner. Oh, let's put the blue. So I'm going to quickly just curl the lashes, put mascara on, 
Alright, and then let's chop on. So I need another one, but I got the two faced. A damn girl mascara. And I think I might throw this out soon. Because this brush. Oh wow. It's so big. Alright, yeah, I just. I hate that mascara. I can't even get it on. Let's go to. Actually, I feel more like the Nadio Amplify and Separate. I just like the way this brush works for me and separates all my lashes. And then. Where's Skinny Mini? I saw it just before. My Chalice Skinny Mini Mascara for the bottom lashes. I'm obsessed with this mascara. If you have not yet guessed. There we are. Final look. Let me know what you think. Let me. Hmm. Curious. Alright. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the looks that I created. I'm quite partial to the look I've got. Sorry if I'm a bit too chatty lately. I, um, but so far, this palette's been amazing. It actually lasted really well. There is quite a bit of glitter fallout though, and I do get a lot of fallout from the matte shadows. Just in using them, that is sort of the rule of games with the pigmented shadows. But I don't remember having those same problems with the previous palettes. I think if you're on the fence with these palettes, I wouldn't buy this one as much as I would buy the other ones if you don't have the other three already and you're like which one should I buy like I would be buying astro pink or sci-fi green over this palette because I love those palette those ones so much and this one is it's good but the fact you have to use a glitter glue I just I don't actually have that many formulas in my collection that I do regularly feel like I pull a glitter glue from but I think I probably will start incorporating glitter glue in a little bit more because it's just made such a big difference with these shades only I semi recommend this palette if this is a color scheme that you feel like you can get behind or you really want but it, it doesn't have like my stamp of approval I would like the mattes are nice the orange could be nicer I think because like let's just compare it to the light blue it's just like I don't know the light blue is like magic and the orange I don't know it's like not the most like cohesive color story there is out there and that's fine I don't mind it when it's a bit jumbled the fact you have to use glitter glue like just one of these things so I'm not completely for these palettes this palette in particular I actually haven't tried the VR neon yet which I'm excited to dip into and see what I think of that one but um yeah I think if you're looking at Kaleidos as a brand and what one to get I would be buying Astro Pink and Sci-Fi Green I think the shimmer formula in them is superior but it sounds like they might be moving to the shimmer formula in the future so it's worthwhile knowing how to use it I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up one of the highlighters they looked very cool but I just don't need them and yeah I think if they release a another eyeshadow palette I definitely will look at one of the highlighters just to add it on but I don't think this is a palette that um, I highly recommend it's nice though it's not too bad um, and it is a fun color story I quite enjoy the colors that I came up with to wear today anyway let me know which look you liked and I'm sorry this is only two looks my creativity has run dry at two um, <laughs> I don't know I just yeah there's only so many shades I don't know and it's not like my favorite to work with so my excitement to play with it sort of dies down. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you've picked this palette up, let me know what your thoughts are. And if you agree with me, if um, you love it, if you hate it, um, or if you're thinking about it, let me know your further thoughts. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And um, I hope you enjoyed like seeing me play around with the pigment. Ooh. I wonder if we could see the full duo crime effect on the camera. I'm sorry. I'm going to go back to my eyes. So I actually have this handy dandy torch that I bought for the sole purpose of trying to bring out the duochromes. But can you see like how crazy shimmer that is? I do actually have like a black torch as well. But I don't particularly really like to use it because it's emitting heat and I can feel it. But it does look cool. And um, yeah, so those are my final thoughts. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed my looks, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it and adore you. Yeah, this is it.